All right, everything's working. I think. Will it show me the percentage on the save file, like the other ones? Oh, but then that's also factoring in like all the extra gems and stuff, so I don't know. I'm going all right, apart from I had a really weird sleep and my body kept waking me up at like 6 a.m., 7 a.m., 8 a.m. And I'm like, oh, I set an alarm, just let me sleep a bit longer. Um, but looking forward to this. Really enjoyed the Insane Trilogy. Finally finished that early this year. And then 4, uh, when, I was, when I was playing 4 yesterday. Really good game. I suck at some of the levels. Um, I'm just struggle a little bit it's 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 a tough it can be tough but it's really good it's a it's there's a, a lot going on in this sequel um can i just walk back to the the start first world no i don't think i can zip it on back through it was just gonna see maybe just to warm up just to do like a level of um fauna Dingo Dial and Vortex, just to just just to get back into it. Got to go all the way back. So we made it all this way yesterday. Also, good morning, Nobo. Wait, it was three months. What? Three months. That's a long time. Yeah, I'll probably finish it today. It's like, so yesterday was like, what, five hours? Oh, well, you know. But, you know, other people, they, um... They, they... Like to take their time, they like to... You know, take a look, like, you know, take in the sites, explore stuff i like to do a little bit of that but generally on a first playthrough i just want to get through the story i just really want to do that and then i'm happy to do the extra stuff later and i i like like these sorts of things like movies and games i digest all of the stuff really quickly maybe too quickly but that's just how my brain is oh, i don't know you should have seen some of the the mission fails I was getting yesterday. It was uh, it was a rough time. I was I was struggling with some of them. It gets really hard. So I'm, yeah, I'll just do I'll do one level of Torna, Dingo Dial, and Vortex, just to warm up. And also they're really neat. I didn't I didn't do many yesterday. It's really um, it's really cool. There's so much. There's so many. There's so much packed into this game. It's it's actually I'm really impressed. It's really worth the money. If this is your jam. Trilogy took him four to complete. Four months? Okay, this place rules. I think that the insane trilogy took me three sessions. <laughs> not to not to not mean to not mean to um throw shade or anything, but But then when I play through games, like, I, I do get in the habit of, it's like, there, there is this drive to see if I can finish it in one sitting or as few as possible, just because I get really, not that I get, I don't know if it's like I get bored, but I'm like, oh, I hate to just do the, well, that's not true either. Sometimes it's like, I don't want to just do the same thing over and over and over, but like, the thought of playing through a single player game for me, over four months, sounds like torture. Just for my brain. Like that's, that sounds like torture to me. I, that, that's not something I enjoy doing. But then, but then how it's unfortunate is then because I'll have a bunch of people tune in for like when we get into the the Twitch analytics side, I'll have a bunch of people tune in. They're like, "Oh, I really enjoyed this guy's playthrough of Crash Bandicoot," which is all well and good. But then there's no more Crash Bandicoot. 
and they're like, well, don't really like these random Kingdom Under Fire speedruns, so goodbye. So it, it doesn't exactly help with, with that side of Twitch. So I'm a flash in the pan every now and then kind of thing. But then I'm like, I don't, I, eh, whatever, man. So. You'd be right. This guy's like, hey. Rage inducing. I don't I don't blame the Whoa, Oh, some of the some of the levels make me want to rage. Like some of the last levels on like I think it was the the, the third one, I was like, this is getting ridiculous. Oh, she can't do this. She can't do the sliding kick. That's right. I can't remember because these characters, they... They play slightly different to each other. Please don't. No. Oh, I'm burning him. Okay, I was like, what am I, what am I doing? What is that achieve? I'll s stop it, no, but you, you know what I mean, though. It's like, you get, you know, you got some people that tune in just for certain games and that, so. I think some people would be like, oh. I, I think some people have come across me and they're like, I hope this guy plays this game forever. Like, whatever it may be. I'm like, but I'm like, you will never see this again. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Oh. But I hope everyone's having a good morning. Oh. I have no plans for the day. Except for this. Until ideally it gets finished. Which should be around lunchtime, I'm I'm willing to guess. And then I might then this afternoon I might do some like off stream I might do some more. Orcs must die free with my dad, or I'll do some um, pull out 76 with my mate Donkey again. Maybe some Red Dead tonight. Ah, so she opened the gate. Oh, and then you got to do it again, right? So, for anyone's wondering, when you play as Torna, I believe she's the Bandicoot that you save in the first game, but this is like uh, an alternate dimension version of her, I think. And so, when you do her levels, you're seeing from her perspective how she did something in the level to help Crash Bandicoot progress. Or is there going to be a plot twist when we find out that she's actually trying to kill him? Because I think this is the second level of hers I've done, and both seem to be trying to get him run over or blown up. So I have a sneaky suspicion something might be more of a thing. Oh, One more levels like this? No, I don't. <laughs> You're in a tennis stadium right now. Oh, I hope that's fun. Are you going to... Wait, are you going to dream hack? No, no. My mate, the Fog Frog, messaged me this morning. And he's like... You may not be there in physically today, but by golly, am I going to make sure you're there in spirit? And he's, he's wearing one of my, he's wearing one of my badges. And I'm like, oh, that's very nice, dude. I hope it's a fantastic time for everyone. I wish I could go, but 
I didn't apply for a creator thing until much later than everyone else because I just had all these doubts about whether I'd actually be able to go at all. And it just that didn't work in my favor either because it's from where I live, flights to Melbourne are not regular. I think it's like once or twice a week at weird times for a lot of money. The alternative, the alternative to that is you got to fly to Sydney and then Sydney to Melbourne, and that takes up a good that takes up a day if you're trying to be safe with it and not risking it and hoping that everything's going to work right. Uh, and it's very expensive because then you got to do that both ways. And I can only take off so much time off work every year. Like I've only got so many you know, annual leave days, so it's like. Ah. It's annoying, but maybe next year I'll go. Oh, because it's a tennis stadium. Is that where it's at? So I'm, I just imagined, I just pictured it in the, um, the convention center, like PAX. So it's a, oh yeah, yeah. I think that's where I went to go see Ghost before PAX last year, where they performed live. But I hope it's great. I hope everyone has a great time. I'm looking forward to seeing all the photos and all that on social. Maybe keeping an eye out. Keen to see what happens. Yeah, ah, oh. Yeah, ah, oh, yeah, I know the area you're talking about now. Oh, Groovy. Do I blow that up? Yes, I do. And that, please. I really wish I could... I, I wish the, um... Um... What is it? The... The trivia on... I think it's the Saturday at 1pm. The trivia between... You got... Game Train and Zombies Love Bacon hosting it. And then one of the team leads is Classic Middleton! My mate Middleton, so I wish I wish that was being streamed. I'd really like to watch that. But I asked um I asked Game Train and Zombies that uh if they are in need of a question, if they could please insert a difficult banjo kazooie related question for him. That, that would be cool, so. So hopefully, I'm hoping that, I hope I, I hope I hear from Middleton that he's like, Was that you that told them to put in this Bedra Kazooie question that I couldn't figure out? I was like, no. Yeah, hopefully. You funny. smell good enough to eat. <laughs> Silly Middleton. I love that you get to play as all these side characters in little missions. Ah, and then that's showing why that that blew up. Okay, so even Dingo, so Dingo Dial is is helping out Crash Bandicoot unintentionally. That's cool. Nope. No pressure, Nobo. Don't. I. Maybe just the. Maybe just the start or something. Don't. I don't. I would feel bad if I knew you were sitting there the whole time, like. Having to hold your hand up and film it. Please don't go to too much trouble for old me. I just wish I could. I just wish I could be there to see it in person. I'll. I'll be all right. I have I have Crash Bandicoot today, and I need to do washing. <laughs> I, ju I just got excited because I, I could see that yeah you got Callan, my mate Game Train, my mate Middleton. Um, who else is on it? Uh, it was just cool to see that they're doing something. Uh, they're on a, um, a panel together. And then, um, it's a shame. I think I saw Galaxy, the other team leader, isn't able to go anymore, which is a shame, because I met her at the Generosity Slumber Party briefly. 
Uh, she did a segment with um with uh, G of D, which was really great. She was nice, so I was like, oh, all these people I've just seen, and no, doing something. I hope it's I hope it's a good time. That's right. I I I don't think I've ever interacted with both Middleton and Game Train at the same time. But like Middleton's chaotic energy and then Game Train's just his just sarcastic bastard humor. I just feel like it'll be an interesting dynamic. I can, I can I can just picture Game Train making like making things harder than they need to be for Middleton, which would, which would be really funny. I don't remember this part of this level as Crash. Or is it like you're seeing it? Oh dear. Gotta go. Now! No, save it. Oh. <laughs> cool. Okay. So that's that's a tauna, that's a dingo dial. And now with a Vortex. No, Cortex. I'm getting his name wrong. It's Cortex. It's not Vortex. Where's he? Corner. Maybe he's not until later on. I swear I saw a level of his somewhere. Where is he? There he is. Ship happens. Let's have, a, let's have a look. And then I'll be all ready to go. The bandicoots are en route. I must reach the spot. <laughs> You stupid box! <laughs> you bastard! No, no, no! Can he double jump? No, he can't. Okay. But he can dash.
Motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, I got a checkpoint. That's nice. What? Up there? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? On a cold winter's night, have yourself a bite of bandicoot stew. Go! No. Oh fuck! Jeez, okay, you gotta be really precise here. Okay, no, you can't reach that. Okay, you gotta do a little. No! Okay, just before his head reaches the thing, you gotta do a little. Whoop. Sooner than that. Please! Please! No! Fuck! How do I. Can I shoot up? No. What the bloody hell? Def no, I definitely can't. Okay. All right. Fuck off. <laughs> Why did I choose a Cortex level to warm up? Easy. <laughs> And you'll be Bandicoot Bob. I don't remember that happening either. Hello, is it Bobin or Bobin? Hundred and six percent today. Ah. Oh. I don't know if I've got that in me. At least I'm gonna finish the story. At the very least, I'm gonna finish the... The right trigger does that. At the very least, I'm gonna finish the story. I got up to... I finished the dinosaur world yesterday. And so I'm just doing some, um... Side levels. To warm up. Which I, sever I severely need. Oh, hell, Bells. I'm also waking up still. Giddy up. Oh, you've actually done it! Nicely done. It's a very good game. I think it's, like, this is a very good example of how you do a sequel to, like, an old... Well, I say an old... ...series, but it's not really. They've had a lot of other games... ...since it started. But, you, you know, because it's, like, canonically, this is the, the fourth one. So for a, a relative newcomer like me, it's it's quite new. So I'm, for me, this is like this is how you do a sequel. But my God, so.
some of the levels, some of the puzzles. Jesus. It's a, it's a time. But it's, it, you know, it's, it's good. It, um, it gives me a bit of a challenge. Because I, more often than not, I will go back and play old games that I know inside out. So they don't really, they're not really much of a challenge. So this is good because I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, you bastard. That's tricky. Let's not go! <laughs> oh, I can hear my washing machines ready. I'll finish this level and I'll quickly hang out my washing. day now. Where am I going from here? Should have, I can't remember where I'm going. Oh, the little boat, and then I go up the left there. I see. But he got to time it with the boat. Right around. Toxic tunnels doesn't sound like a good time. Have you, um... Did you fully finish the End Saint Trilogy? One through four now. Nice. That's that's that is um that is a hell of an achievement. Okay. All right. We've warmed up. I'll show you where I got up to. Oh. So I got up to. To here so i'm just going to quickly hang out my washing and i'll get back into it i will not be long
Washing is out on the line. Do, 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 do. Got my ears back on. Cables, man. It's bloody. <sighs> the hell's my hair doing? I want to shave it all off. Never sits right. Alright. What the hell is going on here? Chums, if I was here to fight, you'd be cactus. He's with me. Found him lost out there. Caught him up on the whole time space, you know, thing. Yeah, just trying to get home. I was enjoying the retired life, see? Got it. Our bad guys had a change of heart, too. Bad guy? Uh -huh. Silence, well. But, sir! You try my patience, Oxide. But, no, no. I'm sure this insect knows how to obey an order. Entropy! Take your ship to planet Bermugula and be on the lookout for ships approaching the Rift Generator. We can't afford any unwanted visitors. At once! Your foulness! You manage our affairs with such poise. Naturally. As do you. Ah. Oh dear! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, barf. <laughs> <laughs> That's whack. Huh? Oh. Cool, man. Hey, stop that. Please? 
don't do it. Too far. I don't get a book. Oh, I don't get a book. Easy, easy does it. Okay. Oh. I'm having to use all sides of my brain again. Make a movie. Look at a bar. Bye. Just ignore you. Um. What the heck do I do here? Zwixus? Am I pronouncing that right? It. I got this on Steam 
for like 50% off. Um, which is great for my for my wallet. But considering how much, like there's not only the main storyline stuff, but like lots of side stuff. I think if this is your kind of game, it's worth the full price as well if you if if that works for you. Oh! Oh, they covered the nitro. Back here. Oh man. All right. Too far. I need to take out this flying saucer guy. Thinking. One wrong move. Oh. Oh. Careful. Easy does it. Space level done. Nice oh, the On to the next one. It looks like we're en route to the Rift Generator. But we'd be a lot faster in... That! What the...? Tana! I'm not losing you guys in this dimension, too. I'll handle this. But... We're a team. Oi! What'd I miss? I, there was, there's definitely some bits. Well, when I first tried the Insane Trilogy, there were some levels in just the first one that made me want to take a really long break from the game. Um, but then when I came back, I learned about, uh, it was mainly those rope bridge levels. And then I learned that um, you could go along just along the rope. If, you, if you're having trouble with the planks, well, and that worked for me. Hey, so that that made me feel better about tackling the whole trilogy again. But there were some bits that really tested my patience, but I got there in the end. It's definitely worth it, especially if you've never played them before. I'd only played them here and there as a kid at friends' houses, so I was like, I want to... I want to try and finish the OGs. At least once in my life. Oh! Oh dear. Well, this is... This is definitely challenging, but there hasn't been 
a level that's drove that's driven me mad. Like some of the levels in the in the trilogy yet. Yet. I think I think they're coming. I've got a bad feeling about how hard it's gonna get. Oh. I don't want to be a pie. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is it gonna come back? Is it not going to move now with me on it? Not too early. Oh! What? What? Are you... Stupid block! I don't under- it- why does it want to move now? Yeah, there, thank you! Fuck! Yeah. Stupid boss. My sixth card stolen like, oh, it clearly has a path of its own. <laughs> but, oh, not now! Okay. What? What got me there? I do again? Oh, yeah. Yay! To the bridge! Oh! Attention crew! Asteroid field ahead! Buckle your seatbelts! We're hit! Unbuckle those seatbelts and woo! Piss off! Hey, see ya, come on.
don't have time to stop and dance. Get in the get in the escape pod. <laughs> what are you doing, Crash? Get out of there. No. Ah. That way. <sighs> Cold. Oh. Hello. Oh! Oh, look at these guys! Oh, I'm dead. Like, space turtles! Too far. Okay. Alright. to be saved. Make that. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look out. a great level. The art style is awesome. All the colors in there. Oh, I don't want to do that. Happy now, game? <laughs> I held down A to help you out.
Too far. I'm out of the screen. Thank you. Yay! Okay, they are bad. They, I just, they just stand there. I just felt like maybe they speed you up or something. But no, they electrocute you. Okay, got it. Hello, Battle Tanker. It's going good. I'm hoping to finish Crash Bandicoot 4 today. It's feeling, um, I'm feeling pretty hopeful about it. And it's a great game, so I'm going good. How are you going? Hey! Oh. Watch out for the monsters! Oh, there's lots of these guys now. Yeah, it's like the, it's like this space tiger. Hey, gone rabbit. Hope the rest of your day yesterday was good. Oh. And look, look at the space turtles. It's really nice. This level's great. This, this might be my favorite level of the whole game so far. The art style is amazing. Oh. Oh no! Oh my god! This is madness! You just downloaded 76? Nice. I was playing a bunch with Donkey and that yesterday. I'm trying to remember what I was doing last time I played it, like four years ago. And I'm like, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Went for a bike ride, soaked up some of these. Thank you. I did get my Fallout on last night. Um, I'm still trying to get my head around the game, but... I feel a little bit more familiar with it. It's just, I loaded up my save and my character was out somewhere without even a, a mission active. And I'm thinking, like, what was I doing out here? I, I honestly can't remember. I have no idea what I was doing, so. But that's no, cool. I'll, I might play some more today, but I was really, I had a lot of fun playing Ultimus Die 3 with my dad yesterday. Really cool game. <laughs> What's the matter, hero? Couldn't solo this one? Let her go! <laughs> the last time I killed her friends, her screams were exquisite. Huh? Delicious. No! Let's make this fun. Yeah, everyone's like, Give it's so good now! I'm like, chance. Is it though? We'll see about that. Let's see what you Mongols can do as a pack. Yeah, you play a level enough and you, you feel like a pro. A door between dimensions. But it's really just because you've done it. Like, yeah, like 40 times. Oh, look at this! Reality shattering proportions. Interdimensional domination. Something, How cool does that look? Something monumentally stupid! Rocket head! Not, not 
top knot from our universe. As bandicoots are considered pests, as fit for extermination as a housefly. Oh, how modern! Tell oh, me. Oh, oh dear, look at this. Oh! Some keep them as pets, but I find it disgusting. I much prefer. So elegant, spiders. So many little legs to pull. Ooh, wicked. Ah! <laughs> Oh, it's moving the other way. I keep thinking it's it's still. All right, we can have a little break here. No, we can't. So they blocked the block. Why did I think I could make that? Oh, this is... Wake up. Finally. Come on. Fuck it! Oh, our lost puppies found its way home. Let's put them down. Activate the security. I'm lasers. tired. Oh no, what am I doing now? Oh my god. <laughs> Just run into it. Oh no. What could go wrong? Oh dear. Oh no! Enough! I won't be foiled Enough. by a flea bag. Time to die. Please don't. It was. Oh my God! There we are. There's no escape. That's Jayton. Gotta keep going. No. Magnificent. Oh, look at this thing there. All right. All right. Here we go. Fuck. 
No, 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 no! Back we go! I can just, I can just jump those. I keep using the power. The power. Oh, yeah, just. Oh, baby. No, I gotta know when to jump, so I don't have time to go up and down all the time. Pathetic. Again, I, just jump, just jump. Don't do the thing all the time. Hey, see? Oh no! Okay. I'm not gonna hook it up. Sitting up. I'm not gonna hook it up. Oh, that was close. Curse you, bandicoots. <laughs> we did it! Yeah, we did. <laughs> What's the matter? Unable to handle even the simplest of tasks? I no longer have need for our ah! alliance. Right then, let's plug up these holes. Uh -huh. Not that it ain't been fun, but about my ticket home. Right. Now that we've mended things, we can take you anywhere. Any when? After we rest. For now, I can only get us as far as the culinary capital of the universe. Neon mm. City! Mm. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nachos. What? Mm, nachos. Oh dear. This is going to be tough. What other skins are there now? There's like Spaceman, Crash, and everything. There's so many, it's great. Oh, I think the game's gonna get harder. I got a bad feeling about this. Oh, it makes it look like um the first what? Crash. You said it, Crash. We can meet with the others after we've explored. Now, it's, it looks cool. Which way are the food trucks? What's the objective now? Find a food truck. Is the twist this is the future where people eat bandicoots? I feel like I'm in Overwatch. Oh! 
Can you not? Oh my god. They're flying TNT at me. Damn it. Alright. Ski 91 will you make it a channel points goal and let chat decide what crash ball related tattoo you're going to get on your body look that's a very that's a very exciting idea <laughs> but no i don't know i don't have any tattoos because i'm um i'm incredibly indecisive about about them and i I worry that whatever I get done, that I will start to see the imperfections in, or that it's not straight or something, and it'll drive me nuts with my stupid OCD. So I've just completely avoided getting tattoos, but then if I was to get a tattoo, it won't be it, 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 it won't be Crash Bandicoot. If it, if it was going to be something like that, it'd be Banjo-Kazooie. <laughs> That's why chat will decide. What would chat decide? <laughs> A channel That's not Crash Bandicoot, though. You're making me laugh when I keep crashing. <laughs> There's no way I'm getting a Gen Oz tattoo because Joel and that have been meant have meant to get a Gen Oz tattoo for like a year. It's their fucking company. I'm not doing it if they haven't done it.
Oh fuck. Hey, why didn't they make banjo? Was that? Oh, what a save! No, it was not a save. Oh, look, because because they want us Banjo Kazooie fans to suffer. Apparently, they just they don't want us to. They they don't they don't. They don't want us, they don't like us having good things. They're like, nah, you had, you had Banjo-Kazooie, you had Banjo-Tooie, you had Nuts and Bolts, and some other random, like, DS games and that. You've had your fill, we don't need to remake it. We don't like printing money. But I would really like it. I'd really love a Banjo-Kazooie game remake of the, you know, the original game. Just with a... If they could just, you know, keep the essence of it intact, but just, you know, new coat of paint, maybe, you know, new engine, and, you know, so you got, like, physics-based puzzles, I think that'd be really great. And I think a lot of people would buy it. Nuts and Bolts was a cool idea. But it really didn't need to be a Banjo Kazooie game. It could, they could have just made some other character to be in that. It didn't need to be Banjo Kazooie. It was so weird. Like I really liked the gameplay, making the vehicles and that. But I was like, why does it need to be Banjo Kazooie? That they're, they're not known for building trucks. They're about platforming and going around and finding a witch. Like, what is this? Like, you could have had, um, uh, like, Diddy Kong Racing, right? They've got all those, they've got all those characters that haven't had their own game. You could have had, um, you could have had, like, uh, Bumper the Badger as the main character or something. Oh, this sucks. <laughs> like Dark Souls types of puzzles in bed, I suppose. I suppose you could. <laughs> so we've made a, uh, we've made a Banjo-Kazooie Souls <laughs> <laughs> That'd be interesting. Oh yeah, you know, just, you know. So what's your game? Describe your game to us. So it's Banjo-Kazooie meets Dark Souls, right? I'm like, oh yeah. Oh, I'm not doing, I'm not doing good at this. That's right, they, yeah, they used the Hyper Banjo Kazooie to do it, which is, it's just, no. Don't do that. Like taking a, an iconic character and then chucking them in like another genre is not always a good idea. Oh my God, finally. I, I finished Nuts and Bolts though. Like, I didn't. Like. I didn't mind it. But it would have been nice to just have a, a straight up Banjo Kazooie game. That was frustrating. I was like, whatever, man. Please. Please give me a Banjo Kazooie show or movie or something. That would be. That'd be sick. That would actually be sick. I, I, I... 
I'd like them to make a, a show or a movie of this. This would be great. Oh, you prick! Oh, I suck at push-ups. I have like horrible upper upper body strength. I can lift heavy things, but I can't lift myself off the ground with my arms. Shit! All right, I need to I need to I need to lock in. Oh, thank God. <laughs> 25 deaths means 500 push ups so far. Do you want me to die? <laughs> Can I do sit ups instead? <laughs> what you have to play is Tauna this time. And Dingo Dial. That's content. That's content. <laughs> hey, come on, man. The, the Generosity Slumber Party charity event was last weekend. That's when I should have been doing it. <laughs> Let's see if these tall poppies know how to smoke a steak. What? What is he talking about? Let me you if these... Tall poppies now added scorches steak? What? See ya. I don't feel safe. It's not to think about that. That's Nitro Corpse. That's bad. Does this mean I have franchise potential? I'd play a full dingo dial game. Am I a franchise? Could I open a restaurant? In an airport? God damn it. Piss off. Go away, robot. Be gone. What's wrong with these boys? It's perfect! Does anyone... Does anyone feel that airport food is like... I'm not saying like... Airplane food is a bit mad, but does anyone feel that airport food is just slightly better? Like you get Maccas in an airport and it's, and it's just that little bit better? Or is that just because you're, like, excited to get on a plane that everything seems better at the time? My spot? Yeah, I think I still go this way. Oh! Yeah, that I it's that I find that odd as well. It's it's not like we're a small country, like, oh man, if only we just we can't find any Australian voice talent, mate. It's like there's there's many, like yeah. Like they would show you'd think they would show that that courtesy for other countries. Then you're just like, oh, I was just gonna yank to do it. Like, fuck off. Well then, okay. 
Well, then get Australians to do American characters then. See how you like it. Wonder what the local Good, delicacy that's what they is get. here. I hope it's spicy and fried. Like I could do it. I could do Dingo Dial. Hi guys, it's me, Dingo Dial. Boom. Yeah, that's it. Just record that, and away we go. Oh, crikey, mate! I'm a Dingo and Crocodile. Crikey, ah! mate! I see I see your point, Romanski, I do. But it's like say you say you needed a, a Japanese character done. And you and and they got someone that wasn't Japanese. That would be considered offensive to most, right? But then it's like, with an Australian character, it's like, oh, you know, just just get it all, just get any old white person, as if like all white people are the same. That's like, it'd be like saying that all African cultures are exactly the same, or something like that. Or all Asian cultures are exactly the same. Like, I don't know. I feel like there's a there's a there's a line there somewhere. Oh man, battle tanker is as oldy as they come. Ah! What? I kicked him. Oh. oh. Well, they have had. They have been a bit cheeky with some of the humor. I feel like. I feel like. Um. There might have been like an outtake or something. Of the ocean. Blimey! I gotta jump over. I'm really good at this. No, Rachel, don't see me fail again. <laughs> Back at it, Hans. Today we finish it. Today we finish it. We're close. I can feel it. I think. Until I rage quit. Is it true that in Australia, sometimes when you're in the bathroom, crocodiles come out of the toilet? And you have to wrestle with them with your pants down. Look, I think that's a possibility. Um, like way out in the bush. Like if you're really, really, really unlikely. I think it's unlikely, but I think there is that one percent chance that it could happen. So you just always got to be prepared, just in case. But in the cities, nah. That's Gotham City. <laughs> Hello, Rachel. How are you going today? An eclipse of the sun. Tell, you told me not to look at it, but here I am. Oh, it's a crocodile, mate! So, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of talk about, like, Aust Australia with spiders. I have recently, this year, 
Um, I have a number of spiders that live in my garage. Uh, on near in the corners above the main door. Um, I think one might be a red back. I think one might be a funnel web. I don't know, but they don't look very nice. But they don't... Every time I've come home from work or I leave for work, they're not, like, coming for me. They're not like, fucking get him. They just stay in their corner, in their lane, so to speak, and they just kill bugs that... other bugs that try to come into my house. So, um... I don't... I don't have any issues with spiders. Unless they're crawling around in my bed. Um... Which is very rare. But, yeah, the spider... like... Spiders... the most experience I've had with them... recently is this year, I just leave the ones... live in my garage. And I just... I just be mindful of them. Like, I just try to spot them and try not to, like, in case they fall onto my car or something. Like, I go for the door handle and it's like, oh! And I, I can't remember the last time I saw a snake. I really can't remember the last time I saw a snake. I think when I was a kid? I... Very lucky I saw it to begin with. <laughs> We're all these people looking at the eclipse. Oh, look! <laughs> it's like, ow, ow, ow! It looks great! Ow, ow, ow! You can still look at the sun when it's covered, right? It's only the sun! The brightest fucking thing in our fucking galaxy! Looks like, ah, my eyes! No! Like, did you see the eclipse? Yes! <laughs> Where'd the sun go? Oh, what the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I'm cooked. No, fucking hell, man. Fucking hell, man. Okay, we're back here. All right, let's get this bit done. This is getting silly. All right, I need to concentrate. Stop making me laugh for two minutes. Right. Left. Yep. Right. Boom. Yep. Fuck. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. That's it. You got to make sure you don't leave any brutes just lying around. Because bandicoots will just come out of holes in the ground, out of bushes, and they'll be like, Give me that shit. You'll be like, No! Get back! Get back in your den! They'll be like, No, I need it. You can't stop me. You're like, No, little bandicoot! Their little quokka friend will be there, like, No, Steve! No, no! no! I was doing a bit. And it cost me. Okay. Oh, 
Jesus, give me that, give me that, give me that fruit. It's like, no! Don't do it! Like, I gotta have it! No little bandicoot! <laughs> they go like full goblin! Dude, burning in the burnout games at that high FPS, that. Mate, you're better off looking at the eclipse. Where am I going? Not there. Did, I, did you used to plank in public back in 2012? I think I maybe planked once, but nowhere dangerous. Like, it was just like... Because I was at uni at the time. Um, and, as, and as all good uni students, um, I just did... I was, you know, nothing but, nothing but study, yeah? Nothing but study. Just constant study. Um, but we probably planked at least once in in one of the TV studios or the theater or something. Like... <laughs> Chuck that on MySpace! But no, I... I hated hearing about how people would do it, like, on train tracks and stuff. I'm like... Like, are you fucking stupid? That's just irresponsible. Mmm, spicy fried mystery food. What part of uni student indicates that I have the money for that battle tank? <laughs> Crash fans when people call Wumper Fruits apples. Is that just what they are? They're just apples. <laughs> These levels are getting harder. I'm scared. Oh, now you have to do a, co a cortex level. Not vortex, cortex. <laughs> They're Wumper Fruits! <laughs> it's more of a mango. <laughs> no, it's a... <laughs> what about a guava? What about a pomegranate? <laughs> Let's go! Man, Cyberpunk looks great. I love Mirror's Edge. Wow! Best viewers on streamboo.com? Wow, we let me just quickly type that in. Slash ban waspear. Enter. Oh, I did it wrong. Whoopsie daisy. It's a tomato. Oh no. Also, Rachel, are you there? Your ban like your ban video when you like time people out and shit is the fucking best. It's fucking awesome. That's not awesome, though. <laughs> like, Rachel's, it's like, she's like, it's like her face on, like, it's like a, what, like, Jerry Spring Springer or something. And it's like, she's like, security or someone, like, throwing someone out. Like, get the fuck out. It's so fucking good, dude. I fucking love it. Look, get the fuck out of here! You bot trash! Oh, fuck off. It's so fucking good. I love it. Can Rachel do a backflip on a trampoline? I reckon she could. She maybe has never done one before, but I think she probably could. If she puts her mind to it. Oh, 
What am I doing? What am I, what am I doing? What was that? Stop. Get some help. Alright, let's just take a second to assess the situation. Don't have enough health, in health insurance to try it. I wasn't, I didn't notice that at all, but now I'm gonna notice it every fucking time. Whoa. Let's fucking go. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Okay. At least I didn't die. Surely there's a trampoline park near where you sit. <laughs> Rachel, you must go to this right now. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Come on guys, I'm just I'm just throwing for content. Take it. I'll fucking take it. That's right, at least I didn't die. That's the main thing. There's two there. That was a little hasty. One, two, three. Oh, there's four. I thought there was three. One, one. There is one. Oh, 
Fuck you! Gotcha, bitch! Oh, what is this? What is all this? <laughs> oh! No! Can you... I'll pay you to fuck off. This fucking guy and his lack of double jumping. You will stream a Duolingo Spanish course. Oh, a fucking wh what? Ay, ay, ay! Fucking hell. Where do they want me to go now? Punch the screen. Ah! No, you can't shoot upwards. This guy's in here. <laughs> Checkpoint! Give me the checkpoint! This should be the end of the level, right? I'm here. Smurgle shank was killer. Ah, Struth. Who cooked it? Heat was too high. That's why it was all rubbery inside. Set by grill marks, too. I liked the pickled wumpa leaves. <sighs> Cortex, you can't. Why did you not see it before? <laughs> <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
There's another way I can break this cycle of endless fighting between us. I can go back I do to not. where it started. I, I can I, undo my greatest failure. I don't think I've ever listened to Eminem willingly. He means you, Crash. <laughs> Nothing against him. I just I'm not big into rap. Bye bye, Bandicoots. <laughs> oh my God. And now for me to stop me. How exciting. Cool, man. to turn Crash Bandicoot into the general of your army, you will fail! The machine rejects him! Rod! Fiend! Embryo! Alert the guards! Uh, why won't I listen to me? Huh. Oh no, Battle Tango! Oh no, see, I... If I was a better streamer, I would have, um, delayed the ad. So I've never really had to think of that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Sorry, Pixel Man. I just had him, I just had him set. And they just do, they just do the thing. Oh, that's... So I, yeah, I rarely, um, if ever, think of snoozing ads. I just let them go. I just, like, they're like, do this, do that. But that is, uh, I will keep that in mind for other single-player games where it feels like uh, something crucial to the plot is coming up. Because I think it comes up. Maybe they're gonna be like, "Do you want to snooze it?" Oh, a little bit. Like every month, I'll get like I don't know, hundred bucks, if that. It'd be like, put that straight in the savings. Woohoo! Yay! 
What am I? No, I'm not even, um, I'm not even really, uh, I'm not really into death four either. What am I into? Um, uh, I like, um, I'm trying to think. Like, I like, I like electronic stuff, rock, hard rock. Industrial metal. Um, and then like some metal, but not really, I've never really been a Deathcore fan. Or Metalcore. I've never, I've never been like a... A core guy. Ramstein, I love Ramstein. I just don't like the... The behaviour of the singer over the last few years. It's like, can you just... Chill the fuck out? And stop being... Odd? Please? You buy yourself a slab of piss and a pack of Winnie Blues, mate? That's right, treat yourself. Rammstein, get, get, schön, schön, schön ab Alter? Alter is old, right? Uh, and then Schön is, because you've got Danke Schön. Uh, wait, there was a dab? Did you redeem for me to dab, Hans? What's D-A-B? D and B. What's was that? Is that drum and bass? I don't know if I've ever listened to drum and bass. I don't know. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. I but yeah, I don't really. I'm not really like. I'm not really like. I'm not gonna listen to this genre. Um, I just like if the band's good. I guess, or if like the the, I like the music, or like I can relate to the lyrics, or I like the vocals. I'm very picky about vocal styles. Like some just don't do it for me. Technically, every rock song is drum and bass. Oh, plus <laughs> plus the others. Um. Trying to think of bands, yeah, like Rammstein, The Cure. Um, uh, I like there's this group of American musicians that do some really stuff I really like. Their main band is Dog Fashion Disco, and then they do like side bands called like Polka Dot Cadaver and El Creepo and stuff. They're some of my favorites. Uh, I really like this Goth and Roll band from Finland called The Sixty Nine Eyes. Um, I really like uh, Typo Negative, Nine Inch Nails, um, Marilyn Manson when he's not with having shitty and being a shit bag, um, System of a Down, Corn, Slipknot, uh, uh, who else? And then like some like gothic, some more like gothic Scandinavian stuff like Death Stars. Uh, there's this Norwegian guy called Goth Minister who he, he this is the, it's the second year he's competed in the Eurovision for Norway. I really like his stuff. Um, uh, I'm trying to think of other bands. In high school, I really liked like Children of Bodom and like melodic death metal. Do the worst. Ramstein is really rocking, man. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, yeah, no, dude. Next time Ramstein comes to Australia, please, I'm there. Because I've missed them the last two times. Because one time I was too young, and the other time I didn't have enough money. I, I'm not, I, I'm not a crunchy peanut butter guy. Like, pe normal peanut butter I like. 
I like Metallica. I don't really listen to Megadeth. Um, I was never like a Linkin Park guy somehow. I just, like, I don't mind them, but I just never really listen to them. I don't know why. Who else? I'm trying to think. Um, ooh! Where the hell am I going? Over here? This is the worst Gears of War game I've ever seen. But yeah, but yeah, I think I think I was, yeah Rachel brought it up um, when we were at um, the Generosity Slumber Party or after, where she's like, "Oh, were you were you a scene kid, Corbs?" And I was like, "No, I I was like like I didn't listen to music at all." And then when I was a teenager, I was shown melodic death metal from Europe. And then stuff like Rammstein and Slipknot and stuff from America. So I quickly went from not really knowing anything to some pretty hectic stuff. And then and then I had and then I had a really weird time in high school. Um, I wasn't exactly in the popular kids group. I was with the I was with the dregs. Of my year group. Um, and they were really into like Swedish death metal and Norwegian black metal, which was not Look, if there's if there's like if you're looking for positive vibes, or at least like a good party where there's chicks, these aren't the people you hang out with. <laughs> well not well not then anyway. Arch enemy, yeah, Arch I really I really liked Arch Enemy. Um, but yeah, like Children of Bodom, Norther, um, Corpiclani, Ensiferum, Winter Sun, um, a bunch of stuff like that. Yeah, I was like, I was like this weird, like not that I ever had like colored dreads or anything, but like, yeah, I was always into like industrial gothic stuff. So I was the serial killer looking guy. Dressed in like a trench coat with with boots and camo pants and shit. Like it was not a good look. It was not a good and like long black hair. Not a good look. Not a good not it's not a very approachable. Like, that guy's got a gun. <laughs> but then I had lots of friends that were um Well not lots of friends, but yeah, I had friends that were like emo and goth and metalheads and all that so I was yeah I was like the weird the weird cousin <laughs> I'll have to find you a photo Rachel I'll have to find you a photo first me <laughs> I'm, I'm a lot more I'm a lot more um lighter now well, not that. I was still. I, I think. I think I pissed off a lot of the where I grew up. A lot of the metalheads because I was always like, "Let's put on like electronic music at the party," and they'd all be like, you know, like judging everyone and that. It was really quite lame. Just like, do we have to listen to fucking bloodbath all the time? Like we're we're partying. Like what are we doing? This is depressing. Very silly. Yeah, it's like, can we put on Sandstorm or something? They're like, nah, gotta, gotta listen to fucking Freezing Moon by Mayhem or something. It's like, ooh. Very lame. Those were weird days. Very weird days. I used to always be, uh, as a kid, I would always pick Yoshi. And then as I got older, I would always pick Bowser. But yeah, recent events, in recent years, I now always pick Warrior. <laughs> oh, 
I just, uh, yeah, I, so, yeah, that experience in my life, I hate uh, metal elitists. Like, I love metal music and all that, but if you take it that seriously, and you only listen to that, and you judge people for only, like, that don't just listen to that, that is so fucking lame. It is so fucking lame. Because you've got, you should have music for different moods. Like, you should have music when you're, like, you're driving, or you're feeling sad, or you're happy, or you're at a party, or you're with normal people. Very odd. Bit cringe. Oh my god. You hated Czech rap music. What's wrong with the Czechs? <laughs> what what's different about Czech rap music? It's like we get it. You used to be the Czech Republic. Czechoslovakia, we get it. Stop singing about it. <laughs> That's right, Rachel. I've got a bunch of different bands and that and songs that I like. It, it, it all depends on what's happening. Or how I'm feeling or the company I'm with. Like, there's certain music I won't put on in front of just about anyone. Like, some of the music I'm, I like... Like you wouldn't, I wouldn't put that on at a at a party because like that's a mood kill people. Like, and I've done that in the past, and people will be like, um, "What is this?" And I'll be like, "My bad, I will not touch the iPod again." Sorry. Oh, yeah, see, that's a big reason why I don't, like, 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 rap seems great, and it's, and it's, takes a lot of talent to do it right, but I just, I, I can't say I'm a fan of listening to, to songs that are about, yeah, I've got a, I've got a big car, and I'm rich, and blah, 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 it's like, that's great, like, good for you, um, like, I, I also, I also really like, um, um, like a bunch of 80s, 80s metal bands, like Motley Crue and shit like that. And some of that's great, but sometimes it's like, fucking shut up. We get it, you do drugs. <laughs> oh, I've done that romance. Yeah, I had like a, I've had songs I really like in the past as my ringtone. And then I'm like, I don't want to listen to this song ever again. You know, Rick Astley's actually pretty good. And yet country music can be a bit samey. It's like, we get it. You've been out herding cattle. Fuck. I can't relate to this. Then I really like 80s music as well. I really like, um, like 80s electronic and like synth pop stuff as well. I think it's really, like Depeche Mode. Um, if I'm pronouncing that right, um, who else? Like, Tears for Fears. Like, that shit's fucking, that shit's fucking bopping, man. That shit's fun. And like, Def Leppard, um, what's also 80s music I really like? Like, Billy Idol and shit, like, 80s music I really like. And then I really like 60s music. Like, one of my favorite bands is The Doors. Like, if, like, you ever have that conversation where it's like, if you could resurrect a band to see live now, I would probably pick The Doors. In excess of Fantastic. I'd love to hear something wholesome, Romanski. Wholesome indeed, nuts! <laughs> you got me. I really just want to listen to some check check rap, hey.
I've been on this one level for a while. I am struggling. This is getting this is getting harder. <laughs> Chuck on the classical music. I like classical music too. I don't go seeking it out. But um Like I like what I hear, like Wagner and shit. Like that's a, those are some Oh, there's a checkpoint right there. That, like, there's some, this is some great compositions. I got the pity check. <laughs> Four Czechoslovakians. Wait, are they Czechoslovakian now or are they Czech Republic? I don't know what the deal with them is. Would no, no fucking way would I try roasted tarantulas. No. Nah. You'd have to pay me. You'd have to. You'd have to pay me. A decent amount of money to do that. Ah. Are they got electro. Oh! Oh, thank God we're there. Love a good bass line, Rachel. See, a lot of people don't know this. Um, I used to dabble in bass guitar because my friends had already called dibs on guitar. So they're like, Corbin, you can have the bass guitar. I'm like, less strings. Let's go. So I started on bass guitar learning like metal and stuff. And then eventually, I um, had some fun where I was uh, I was in like a hard rock band where they did we did like we did some originals like I wrote I I I recorded my bassline for one of the songs they had already written and then I was very fortunate that we had a, a jamming session where they had a bunch like a chord progression that they they wanted and then I was like I wrote it down and then I was just playing around because I got a five string Ibanez bass which which tuned down so um, I took their chord progression and I came up with this really cool bass line on that and that became a song so I had a writing credit on their one and only EP I was like yay am I a real musician now uh, and so we would play a bunch of originals and we'd play like um, a bunch of covers so that was fun we did a couple of shows and then with a mate, I started a, uh, what would you describe it as? An alternative synth rock band where I played bass guitar and then my mate sung, played, he did lead guitar, synths, and then our other friend attempted to play drums. And we did some shows with that, which wasn't that, we didn't do it amazingly, but that was fun. Um, that was very much inspired by like the Cure and Fleetwood Mac. And then uh, I was the live bass guitarist for a, just like an indie rock band. And my god, I had to learn. Has anyone ever heard of, what's that band? Interpol. Has anyone ever, ever heard the song Evil by Interpol? I had to learn that bass line. It was so fucking hard, man. So fucking hard. But then the bass line, it's very similar to... Uh, and then years later, Violent Soho, an Australian band, released their song Viceroy, Viceroy which is a very similar bass line. Do, 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 It's like that. But it was like... And then like the verses and that, it was like all over the place. I'm like, oh! I can't believe I learned that. I cannot remember how to play it. But I learned it for like Why the two gigs we did. I have to choose a bandicoot. 
If I just stuck with the wombat, I'm sorry, it was different. that baseline, Rachel. It was very wombat much out of my comfort zone. Holy shit. And above all, loyal. I was actually terrified. I was like, guys, I think I'm gonna have to. And then this other band, they had a show coming up in Brisbane, and they were like, Kill a barrel roll! Uh, barrel roll! They had a show coming up in Brisbane and their bass guitarist was away. So they're like, Corbin, do you want to learn all these songs? I'm like, what's the song list? And it's all like Metallica, Megadeth, like all this like thrash metal stuff. And I'm like, not happening. I cannot learn all this stuff. I need to go get some water. I don't have water with me. Um, what if you 100% know they're perfectly healthy to eat? Also, if you ground up into a soup, would you then try tarantulas? I don't know. But if it was just like a fried tarantula? Nah. I can't. I'm not picky either. Oh, there is Rachel, but I I don't know if I want to share that. It's not. None of it's none of it's amazing. Like none of it is none of it's like Oh, wow. Um, I'll see if I can find some photos for you. But yeah, I might, I might keep it as a secret. But yeah, I've still got my I've still got my bass guitar. I every now and again I'll play around, but I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm fucking doing. But I'll go grab a bottle of water. Oh, I've got my hydration. Music stream. Oh, well, I used to... Years ago when I was streaming, I did, I did like, some very rare streams where I plugged my bass guitar into my uh, audio interface and I would play along with some stuff. Uh, maybe I'll do that again. Maybe, but I'm, I've never... I'm not that... I'm not very good. And I've never known, I've never known musical theory or like, like guitar, like whenever I was doing jams and that, like I'd always, have, I'd always have to be like, they'd be like, yeah, I'm just playing a, you know, a fucking, you know, and this is an A chord. I'd be like, yeah, where's that on the fretboard, motherfucker? <laughs> Which string and fret is that? <laughs> because I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Um, I did. Oh, actually, no, there was one time with that hard rock band, we did, um, we covered, um, we covered Linkin Park, um, uh, which one was it? We did cover a Linkin Park song, which had a lot of dun dun, uh, I can't remember the song, so I had my bass tuned where... My fifth string, the B string, was, was uh, so I'd do that, and then I'd be going down to the uh, the A string. I tuned my bass really weird, just so that I didn't have to like retune during the gig. It was my the singer was like, I don't know what the fuck you've done, but it works. And I'm like five string bass. I had one string set to E. I think I had yeah, I think I had the, I think I had the E E strings tuned normally and then I had the B string tuned to the drop D so that I didn't have to retune halfway through the key because I'm like I can't be fucked but there was like some uh, there was a, a some slight slapping just for the open boom boom just to add to that just to make it slightly heavier and with that sweet sweet Face tone. That was fun. What song was it? Um. <laughs> Did someone say slap? Hello, Slappy. That's right. We. I was. I. We got onto the subject of my old bass guitar days. Um. I think it was one step closer. Hold on. Let me look up. Lincoln Park. One step closer. Base tab. 
I'll recognize the base tab, maybe. Hold on, and then I'll... How do I play it? Play! Yeah. So, I was just slapping the... Um, so the da -da -da -da, so I would slap the open notes um, just to add it, make it that bit more. I think that was the one. I think that was the one. I think that's the song we did. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah. The most fun we had though. With with the um with the synth rock band in our early days when we would do uh, open mic nights to sort of get experience, we would we would close our set with um uh, the chain by Fleetwood Mac, which was really fun because yeah you, the you know throughout the whole song you're just like duh, duh, like. And if you don't love me now, it's like, you, the bass is like, good jack shit. But then the end of the song, of course, you've got that sick bass line, which was fun. So we would, we would end our set with that. That was really fun. Yeah. Shut up when I'm talking to you! <laughs> I think it was that one. I think. Hold on. What's other big Linkin Park songs? I think that's it. I'm pretty sure that was it. But if not, it was one like that. It was one like that. If not that one, it was one like it. <laughs> I don't think I ever learned how to play Smoke on the Water. Um, on guitar or bass. Like, for bass, it's super easy, isn't it? It's just the... Dun -dun 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 -dun. It's just like a walking bass line, right? It's like super easy. It's like um, Credence Clearwater Revival, um, Fortunate Son. It's just dun 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 dun. And you're like, fuck, I can do this all day, mate. Oh, for fuck. Ah, oh, these levels are getting hard. And I can't concentrate. Am I in the sweet spot? Am I in that sweet spot in the middle? Oh, that's right. We also covered um, Paranoid by Black Sabbath, which again was very easy. It was like, this is piece of cake, mate. Piece of fucking piss, brother. Sharon! those bugs. You son of a bitch. Also, hello boxer earlier. Sorry, I was meant to say hello with the with the um with the barrel roll.
We're nearing the end of the game, right? Can you not? Oh no, please don't tell me it involves push-ups. The, the radius on those guys is just, it's, it's, it's the fucking worst. Die! You little fucker! Get a glass of water and a fork, and then drink that glass of water only using the fork. Ah, oh, that's fucked up. How good is that? The outro of that song, Rachel. That is a that is a banger of a song. Love that song. <laughs> I hope I get another pity crate soon. Keep us together. Another easy song we would do. Well, easy for me. My poor mate had to sing it, and then he also had to do all the like the fancy lead guitar stuff. But we would do Fascination Street by The Cure. If anyone knows that one, it's very easy on the way. It's just do 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 very easy, but you got to do it like. I think you get like one bit near the start of the song where you got to like, where you take a you take a sec to shut up, but then you're just doing that the whole time. All that stamina. We did this other song um, by um, this other like '80s goth band um, by the Sisters of Mercy, uh, not um. Their other song, um, oh, what's it called? This Corrosion. It's in, um, that, uh, you know, you got Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and At World's End. Uh, their other song, This Corrosion's in that, but we did their other, one of their other big songs, um, Dominion, which is like, it's like seven minutes, but like the bass just, it does not stop, and it's just, it's so easy. I just had to just stand there. I'm just like, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> this is a lot of fun, though. Mother Russia. Fuck off! Hands ten underwater? I don't think I've ever done that. As a kid, I would do that thing where you go to the bottom of the pool and you'd be like, this is where I live now. And then would be like, after 10 seconds, you'd be like, nope. Not anymore. Time to move. I really like this level. Shall stand in our way. Oh wait, no, I need to breathe. Goodbye. Seriously, bud. Fuck you and everything you stand for. Alright. If 
Fuck you. Oh, I struggle with horror games. Every now and then, I will stream a horror game, mainly around Halloween. Um, like, I've done like Outlast and Slender and a bunch of stuff. Um, I do have a lot more horror games on my list that I'd like to do later this year. Um, but I'm saving some for Halloween that weekend. But um, I save... I save 90% of the horror game streams as VODs for my secondary YouTube channel. Because they're funny. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Caught on fire? Oh my lord.
No, 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 no! Oh, okay. All right, I know what to be looking for. At least it's funny. Oh no! Please! And people speedrun this for fun! Oh my god. More! Just slide into the, the beams, good job. This platform is gonna fall on me or something.
No worries, Hans. Oh, I don't need any luck there. <laughs> One after the other. Why did I do that? Okay, all right. Oh, I don't like this bit. Oh, dear. I need to, so if I, no, 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 no.
Oh, come on! No! Ah! Oh, dear. Nitro there. Okay. Oh, too early. Whoops. Bounce on his shield. This is rough.
That's a laser. I don't get a laser. Ride the disc, please. Thank you. Please, come on. What am I? That, no. Slow down. This is insane. Oh, pity checkpoint. Oh my. Look at the button. 
Oh, you can't spin through that. How do you get through that? Ridiculous. Oh my god. No, no, no. This actually has me really worried. This is... This is hectic. Oh, yeah, the double bounce. Oh, I'm freaking out. Oh, I'm freaking out. Phenom, thank you for the resub. 39 months, thank you. Okay, so I land on the box and then I. 
This is nuts. I'm just losing track of the masks, man. Oh, fuck off. No. There's a steel crate at the top of the turntable part, right? It's that bit, so I'm like, I have no idea what I'm doing there. Northern Invasion, first playthrough, yeah, and I, and I don't play the Crash Bandicoot games or games like this that often, so I'm, I'm doing alright, but now this, this, this has actually got me a little, freaking out a little bit, okay, right, I see, I see, I see, Okay, and then now I go down, and then I get this idiot, and then... Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Northern, that's good to know. I know another mate of mine said the same. I'm just... It's freaking me out a little bit. I just gotta chill. We've learnt another bit. Oh. It just, when you think you're like, you're nearly out, it gets worse. This is actually, like, holy sh Dude, this is actually fucked up. for the follow northern Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
When I get on that pad, I need to jump up and get the next mask and then do something. Thank you, Joe. I was about ready to rip these off and go run around the house. <laughs> Dude, that's fuck. My God. Please tell me that's the last, like, normal level. <laughs> the stats. What stats? <laughs> oh! And does it help that it's around lunchtime and I'm getting hungry? Is this... Is this the last bit? Please. Please. Any idea how stubborn I used to be? Yes. <laughs> I need to stop him from making you. But I can't kill him because that would kill me. So I guess that means I'll have to kill you. <laughs> what? Yoink. It's such a... It's such a like... Did you... Jump on the shoot-o-matic? Cheater! Stop that! What? If he, it's like he's gonna kill him. He wants to kill him anyway. Why is he gone? Help. Why is he gone? Back to the past. Just kill him anyway. Just <laughs> he can't even do that. Except non-existence. Oh. Careful! 
I might live. Yes, your whole world is upside down. <laughs> ah! Jump, red, duck, blue. Jump, jump, duck. Jump, duck, jump. Jump, jump, duck. Ceiling thing. Jump, duck, duck. Jump, jump, duck. Jump, duck, jump. Jump, jump, duck. Unbelievable. Assistant, go! Oh, mama! Hello, Hammer! I'm about to finish Crash Bandicoot 4, I think. It's been really hard. Slowing. Ready, set. Power before Cortex. Shenanigans. Taking a hit to the old temporal lobe. But a fallen foe can only mean one thing. It came to blows, and I won! My new general's first order of business will be to dispose of you. <laughs> we are 
closer than ever before. Quickly, into the vortex. But Dr. Vortex, the vortex is not ready. We have no idea what it could do. Failure <laughs> again. Explains a lot. You can't stay. What are you going to do to me? <laughs> Looks like somebody needs a little time out. Somewhere he can't cause any trouble. Enjoy the end of the universe! <laughs> Dingo Steiner is back and ready for you. Say good day to delectable dishes inspired by my interdimensional travels. Enjoy the breeze with our innovative three wall dining room design. Dingo Steiner, health and safety. Thank you, Joe. For delicious. I did it. What a great voice. This game has been a work of fiction. Any similarities to any marsupials, talking masks, dingo alligator hybrids, or evil science guys with weirdly shaped heads, living or dead, is purely coincidental. You should not have played this game if you suffer from Wumpa Allergy, Crash Rash, Fear of Alternate Dimensions, Fear of Moving Platforms, Fear of Still Platforms, Fear of Sequels, Fear of Squishy Noises, Fear of Bouncy Noises, Fear of Super Science, Fear of Collecting Things, Fear of 90s nostalgia. I don't know if I'll ever go back and 100% any of these. You. They're great games, but... When someone asks you what I don't know if I can go that ability far. to remember where you parked or a delicate tummy. For more information on bandicoots and their diet, habitat, mating habits, birthday wish lists, and shoe sizes, visit your local library or ask your grandma. I don't know if she has any prior experience with bandicoots, but she's very wise and I'm sure she'd love to hear from you. The makers of this game do not in any way endorse eating at Dingo Dial's Diner, which has been known to cause transdimensional discharge, intestinal rifts, wumpa whooping cough, parasitic slime boils, random teleportation into darker timelines, no! and uncontrollable mewing like a little kitty cat during important business meetings <gasps> any unauthorized exhibition distribution or duplication of this game will result in very hurt feelings and why would you want to hurt our feelings we that was really tough nice enough you we even said your new haircut oh thank you for the thank you for the biddies Rachel of crash bandicoot stay at N never doubt me which is just, just a takes with some time moss the moss is really soft though so you should be able to get a good night's sleep what are you too good to sleep on a log sorry your majesty I suppose you want a continental breakfast instead of a handful of ants that make their nest under the tree Jeez Louise there's no pleasing some people <laughs> Can you give me a minute? <gasps> okay, I'm ready to go again. The events of this game are absolutely 100% canonical, unless you didn't like them, and that it was all a dream. All right. That was a great game. That is a fantastic sequel. That was a... A great time. Triple spin unlocked. While running, tap XXX to attack in a wider radius and seriously boost your speed. Give it a spin in time trials. Why? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here we go, there, woman. That was better. Keep going. There's so much more to do. Get all the skins, gems, flashback tapes, time trial relics, and discover the insanely perfect relics. Are you a bad enough bandicoot to reach 100% completion? Nah. <laughs> 